Hello friends, I am Dr. Anamika Bhargava. Today I will discuss the topic cluster analysis of data mining. How the clustering is helpful to find the patterns and to convert this pattern into the knowledge. What is cluster analysis? Cluster is a collection of data object. Means we are combining similar to one another within the same cluster and dissimilar to the object into the other cluster. Cluster analysis it is basically a finding the similarities between data according to the characteristics found in the data and grouping similar data object into the clusters. And unsupervised learning is what no predefined classes we can make if we don't if we don't have the supervision and if we don't have the domain knowledge. What are the basic applications by using the cluster analysis? It is a standalone tool to get insight into the data distribution or it can be used as a pre-processing step for other algorithms. Clustering, rich applications and multidisciplinary efforts. It can be used into the pattern recognition. Spatial data analysis, it is used to create thematic maps in GIS by clustering feature spaces, detect spatial clusters or for other spatial mining tasks. It can be used for image processing. Cluster analysis can use economic science especially for the market research or we can use the cluster analysis for World Wide Web documentation classification. Cluster web log data to discover group of similar access patterns. These are the rich application where we use the clustering. Example of clustering applications. Marketing help marketer discover distinguish or distinct group in their customer base and then use this knowledge to develop targeted marketing program. We can use land use, identification of area of similar land use in an earth observation database. We can use the insurance, identifying the group of motors insurance policy holder with a higher average claim cost where we can do the similar kind of comparison we can do. In the city planning, identifying the group of house according to their house type value and geographical location. Earthquake studies observed earthquake epicenter should be clustered along the continent faults. Here the very good examples of clustering quality. What is good cluster and what is bad cluster? A good cluster method will produce high quality cluster with high intra class similarities and the low intra class similarities. The quality of clustering result depend on both the similarity measures used by the method and its implementation. The quality of clustering method is also measured by its ability to discover some or all of the hidden pattern. How we measure the quality of clusters? Again we have some formulas to measure the distance between the clustering group. Dissimilarities or similarities matrix are used to find the similarities. It is expressed in term of distance function that is dij. There is a separate quality function that measure the goodness of the cluster. The definition of distance functions are usually very different for interval scale, boolean or categorical ordinal ratio and vector variables. Everywhere the different the value is different. Weight should be associated with different variable based on application and data semantics. It is hard to define similar enough or good enough. Answer is typically very subjective. Requirement of clustering in data mining. What are the things required? when we are going to do the clustering. 
scalability which scale we will use ability to deal with the different type of attributes ability to handle dynamic data discovery of cluster with arbitrary shapes minimal requirement for domain knowledge to determine the input parameter able to deal with the noisy and outlier data insensitive to order of input records high dimensionality should be required incorporation of user friendly constraints interpretability and usability are the most important thing that is required into the clustering of data mining thank you this is all about clustering